What's up everyone, I'm Callum on Toast and in today's video I've got another very fun theme team. This time we're in the Kanto Cup and I'm running a triple ground team. Now originally I wanted to run a triple shadow ground team but then I remembered that I've got a very special Pokemon and that is Doug Trio. Now this isn't any normal Doug Trio because it's actually got the legacy move Mudshot but you actually cannot use an Elite TM to get Mudshot on Doug Trio as it's not available. The only way that you can obtain this Pokemon is if you caught it back in the first couple months that it came out or evolved to it of course or if you trade with someone who does happen to have this in their storage and I traded for it quite a while ago. I completely forgot about it. It was just sitting in my storage space and I just remembered it as I came up with this triple ground team and it performed exceptionally well. We actually went 4 and 1 with every single set apart from one where I went 5-0. And so I'm going to be showing you my final two sets with this team. So I'm running Nidoqueen in the lead with Poison Jab, Poison Fang, Earth Power. Don't really need to say much about this Pokemon because you've probably seen it in every single Kanto Cup battle that you've done this season. I'm also running Shadow, Sand Slash with Mudshot, Night Slash and Earthquake. And I've got the Legacy Mudshot Doug Trio with the Mud Bomb and Stone Edge, and I'm sort of interchanging those two as my safe swap. Whichever one is better against the lead Pokemon, I'm actually going to switch into the other one because you always want to keep your hard counter in the back just in case they switch out, which they probably will do. So as we're running a triple ground team, we're going to be weak to a lot of the same typings. So ice types are going to be super effective against all three Pokemon, as well as the water typing but we do have some moves that can sort of hit back for at least heavy neutral damage and as well the most common ice type that I saw was actually a Lolan Sand Slash which is part steel typing so the ground type moves do hit for super effective damage so they're kind of pretty neutral matchups anyway and uh, yeah I'm gonna actually show you my very first battle with this team because it's pretty hilarious the Pokemon that I end up going up against and then after that I'll just show you my final two sets where I did go 4-1 and one and then 5-0 so with that being said let's just go into the battles right now all right so we're entering the very first battle with this team we lead into an Alolan Raticate so I'd assume this is a pretty neutral matchup they're gonna go for the crunch straight away I know it's not a Hyper Fang and they're not purified so it's definitely not a return we're going to go for the earth power here this should ko if they don't shield and they don't shield so we take them out and then we're met with a waterfall gyarados so this is very bad but can we land the stone edge do they know about the stone edge unfortunately it looks like they do and yep we cannot do anything here this is like the worst pokemon for my team because not only are they water types, they're actually a flying type, so they resist all the ground type moves as well. We get a Night Slash shielded, but there's a CMP tie, and we're gonna go down here. There's no point shielding that, because they would be able to waterfall, farm us down completely, and we end up losing that game. Now into the next battle, this is where the two sets come in. So we actually lead into another Kanto Sand Slash, this one is not Shadow. They go for the Night Slash before they got to an Earthquake and they actually switch into a Nidoqueen, so very interesting switch there. They let the Earthquake go through and they actually quit out of the battle, so I'm almost certain that that was a misclick, but we will take that win. Into the next game, we lead into a Hypno, so another very bad lead. We're going to switch into the Doug Trio because the Kanto Sand Slash is actually a lot better as a switch in so I'm hoping that they switch out they don't and they do shield this stone edge which is pretty interesting uh, they go for a thunder punch so that is perfect and now we're going to be able to get to another stone edge I'm going for stone edge because it does a lot more damage than the mud bomb and which get a second shield so um, yeah stone edge doesn't actually do that much damage to a, a hypno they actually switch out there to try and catch a move and I'm going to bank all of that energy switch into the Nido Queen and we're going to commit to a poison jab farm down we'll shield up the ice beam and we should leave this matchup with a ton of energy assuming the hypno comes back in i'm going to be spamming out the earth power here they actually come in with the tentacruel now this is the first time i've used the shadow nido queen so i don't really know how much damage it does so i undercharge there i build up to the double poison fang just to be safe and the Poison Fang takes them out and I'm going to go for a Poison Jab and then one more Poison Fang here. 
and I'm gonna instant switch into the sand slash. We have 100 energy, and even if this night slash didn't KO, we'd be able to throw another one, and we're able to take that game there. So GG's, very tough lead, but we're able to come back. Into the next game, if this is a charm nine tails, then it's good, but it's a powder snow nine tails, and it looks like they're winning CMP against my Nido Queen. So we're gonna shield that up, we get the Poison Fang off and they will outpace us to the next one because it only takes four Powder Snows to get to the second Weather Ball. I'm hoping that I can actually mud shot down with my Doug Trio here. So I'm gonna let the Weather Ball go through and please, 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 can I mud shot down? No, we're not able to. So unfortunately I have to use my second shield anyway. So yeah, a bit of a poor play there. And they come in with a Hypno and we're lagging a ton. They get an extra Confusion through. We also got an extra Mud Shot through, but we didn't need that. We're gonna switch into the Sand Slash here. And even if this is an Ice Punch, it won't take us out. They go for the Shadow Ball. It does a lot of damage. We're going for the Night Slash here. This will do quite a lot to the Hypno. And we're gonna go for one more Mud Shot. Go for the Night Slash. We actually start a lag there and then the game refunded us with our energy. So just a ton of problems with this game. And unfortunately this Mud Mom is not gonna do enough and we get farmed down there. So yeah, if the game worked the way it should do, then maybe we had a chance, but unfortunately it didn't and we end up losing that game. So GG's to that opponent. Into the next game, we lead into a Lapras. We're going for a CMP tie with the Surf here, with the Poison Fang. It goes unshielded and they're actually over farming here. So we're gonna go for another Poison Fang and this is ideal for us because we actually get a shield from them. And now I don't really wanna shield my Nido Queen because I know that they're gonna get to another Surf before I can get to a move. We come in with the Sand Slash here. We're gonna shield this up and then we're gonna over farm just a little bit and go for the Night Slash here. They are in a range where we can take them out with the Night Slash and we actually get a shield there. So I'm thinking that they're pretty weak to the ground typing. So I'm actually gonna shield this up and commit to the farm down. And they come in with a Machamp. So we're gonna go straight for the Earthquake. This is easily gonna take them out and boom, we take out the Machamp. They come in with a Shadow Hypno here. So we're gonna go for the Stone Edge here because this is gonna do a lot of damage if we can only get off one charge move. And it looks like they're trying to go for the farm down. So we're able to get to a Mug Bomb and this will take out the Hypno. And we're able to take out the Hypno and take that game. So another great comeback from a very bad lead. Into the next game, we lead into a Marowak. So this is okay, but we're gonna switch into the Doug Trio because this is a better matchup. We've got the Mud Shot and Mud Bomb spam. We get a shield here and that was four hexes. So I think this could be a Shadow Bone, it is. So we're gonna farm up a bit extra. We'll go for a CMP tie, but they throw early. So this is definitely just a Bone Club. We'll let it go through. They switch into a Dragonite. Do they know that we've got Stone Edge? They do not, and boom, we take out the Dragonite. We actually get to another Mud Bomb here. This will do quite a lot of damage to the Marowak. And we get the final shield here. So we're gonna switch into the Sand Slash. We're just gonna shield this up. Of course, it looks like they're very weak to the ground typing. So I'm staying in, farming up a little bit over. We're going for the Night Slash at this range. It will take out the Marowak, and they have a Nido Queen in the back. So Earthquake is gonna easily take out this Nido Queen. And boom, we take them out and we're gonna be able to win that game. So that ended up being a four and one set. Unfortunately, we did lose that game where we lagged quite a bit and the game just didn't work very well. Into the next set, we lead into a Hypno. So another terrible lead. They come in with an Oma Star. So this is actually a pretty good matchup for the Doug Trio because the only thing they can hit us for is a Hydro Pump. I wasn't really counting, but I don't think they could be at the Hydro Pump just yet. They go for an Ancient Power, they don't get the boost, and now I'm just going to go for the Mud Bomb. Be sure to take it out before he gets to another move, and we do. They come back in with the Hypno. We're going to go for the Stone Edge, because like I said, Stone Edge does a lot more than the Mud Bomb. They don't shield it, and we're able to get to a last second Mud Bomb before we're taken out by the Confusion Damage, and they actually no shield that as well. So I come in with the Nido Queen, they actually switch into the Gyarados here. They definitely should have thrown a move first, and now I get the shield with the Poison Fang, and at this point I can easily shield this Poison Fang and take them out. So we shield up the Aquatel, go for the Poison Fang, this will KO at this range. 
and we take them out. We're gonna switch instantly into Sand Slash because this has a lot less fast move pressure. They go for the Ice Punch, so they definitely should have thrown it straight away. They're gonna to get to another Ice Punch, but at this range, we're gonna be able to take them out with one Poison Jab and take that game. So another lead loss, but we're able to come back and that is pretty insane. Another Hypno lead. So once again, we're gonna switch into the Doug Trio. It looks like they're lagging a lot here. So we got quite a few extra mud shots through there. And we get the Stone Edge shielded. They're gonna go for the move straight away. And it's an Ice Punch. So that's gonna take us out. So those extra mud shots didn't really make much of a difference there. So that is okay. We're gonna come in with the Sand Slash here. They try to catch a move on the Snorlax, so I over farm, I go for an Earthquake, and I'm actually gonna switch into the Nido Queen because I know it has a bad matchup against the Hypno. We're gonna no shield this. Body Slam won't do too much damage, and if that Hypno has Ice Punch, then, oh, we've already seen it has Ice Punch, so we need to save our shields for the Hypno. They come back in, I don't really expect them to shield, so I'm going for the Earth Power, and will this take out the Hypno? No, they actually do shield it, and I am very disappointed that I didn't go for the double Poison Fangs there, but that's how it goes sometimes. We shield the first Ice Punch, they have back to back, so I'm gonna shield this, and then I'm gonna over farm a little bit. They actually come in with the Raichu, I'm not messing about, I'm going straight for the Earthquake. I know that I will outpace the Hypno to the next move, and I'm gonna get to the Night Slash here, and this will be more than enough to take out the Hypno at this range. And once again, we come back from a bad lead and we take that game. Into the next match, we lead into an Alolan Sand Slash, so not a good lead. We're gonna switch into the Doug Trio. They attempt to catch a Mud Bomb on the Golbat. We're gonna let this go through. It's definitely just a Poison Fang. We do resist it as we are the ground typing. We're gonna go for the Stone Edge just before we get to 100 energy. Do they know? They do not, and boom, we take out the Golbat. They come back in with the Nido Queen. We're gonna go straight for a Mud Bomb. And my opponent doesn't shield, so that does quite a lot of damage. They are able to Poison Jab, farm us down, but that's okay with me. We're gonna come in with the Kanto Sand Slash and we're gonna to switch to catch the Earth Power on the Nido Queen. And one more Poison Jab takes us out, but I don't care. We're gonna come in with the Kanto Sand Slash and we're gonna go for the Night Slash here. We really need them to shield this up. And we do get a shield and it was a CMP tie, so they don't get an extra Shadow Claw through. They go for the Ice Punch, of course, and we get a Mud Shot through this time, so that is great. We're gonna shield up the Ice Punch, go for a Night Slash, and they didn't get a Shadow Claw through, so that is ideal once again. And we will outpace them to the Earthquake here, and this is easily gonna take out the Sand Slash. Boom, we take them out, and we're able to take out the Nido Queen there. So once again, coming back from another lead loss, and that is the theme with this team. We just lost so many leads, and once again, another Alolan Sand Slash. So we switch into the Doug Trio. We're just gonna we're just gonna go straight for the Stone Edge, and can we boom once again? Yes, we can. We take out the Gyarados. They come in with a Shadow Victory Bell. Now this is not ideal, but the Nido Queen is actually neutral to the grass typing, so it's pretty good. We go for the Poison Fang. This should get a shield or take them very low or even take them out. And we do get the shield and they get to a charge move here. They decide to Acid Spray, so I'm gonna switch into the Sand Slash, get an energy advantage, and now it's a pretty similar matchup as before, only this time they only have one shield. So we are gonna bait for the Night Slash once again but if they don't shield, it doesn't matter too much. And they do not shield, but all I have to do is get to the back-to-back -back Night Slash, and that should be a GG's. We get the final shield, and as long as they don't have the second Ice Punch loaded, which they do not, we're gonna be able to get to a Night Slash here, and we are able to take that game, so we come back from yet another lead loss, and we're able to take that game. Into the final battle, we lead into a Shadow Snorlax. Now I'm gonna stay in for a bit, over farm a little bit, and then I'm gonna dip after I reach the Earth Power, just in case I need it. I switch into the Doug Trio. We are gonna get to the Mud Bomb on a CMP tie here with the Snorlax if they choose to throw the Body Slam, which they do. So I'm gonna shield this up, and then I'm gonna be able to outpace them to the next charge move. I'm gonna go one over, Go for the Mud Bomb. It does take one less turn for Snorlax to reach that last Body Slam. 
and we get a final shield so I'm actually going to let this go through body slam takes us out it doesn't look like they have an answer for my ground type so I'm going to come in with the sand slash over farm just by one mud shot go for the night slash we take out the snorlax they come in with a hypno and it looks like they try to catch with the Nino Queen. We're not going to throw, and we're actually going to switch into our own Nino Queen. We have the Earth Power loaded. Boom, we take out the Nino Queen, and my opponent knows that we're absolutely loaded with the Sand Slash. So they concede the match there, and we're able to go 5 0 in this final set, despite losing the lead, I think, three or four times. So crazy battles with this triple ground team. So that's going to be it for today's video. I had so much fun running this team. I'm actually so surprised at how well it performed. If you did like this video, then make sure you leave a like, leave a comment letting me know. And if you're not yet subscribed, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll be able to see more content like this. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.